friends, this is the Google Pixel 7 Pro and today I'm going to check out two of the built-in creative features in this phone's camera. Now I am of course talking about long exposure and motion blur under the motion settings and typically to achieve these effects in the past I would need to do it on a DSLR or mirrorless camera and play around shutter speed but not anymore because these features are now built into the Google Pixel 6 and 7 at the click of a button. Now these features are still in the beta stages so I don't expect a whole lot from it but I'm still kind of curious to see how it works. I'm going to head outside and take some pictures. I'm going to take you guys with me, see what we can come up with. Then I'll meet you back here and we can share some thoughts. See you then. think these pictures are kind of cool they're not really what I expected well I didn't actually know what to expect you know the long exposure does exactly what long exposure is supposed to do it blurs moving objects my mind is actually kind of blown how it works because you know traditionally I would have to set up a tripod to keep my camera very still in order to get a good long exposure so the fact that you can do this handheld that's pretty impressive if you are going to use the long exposure feature on this phone here's a quick tip if you're doing this before the sun goes down click on your screen and pull down your exposure slider to make it look like it's darker than it actually is, you're going to get better results, especially if you're looking to capture light trails like these. The second feature, the action pan or the motion blur, was kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it would miss the mark completely. It would blur out the subject instead of the surroundings of the subject, if you know what I mean. And then honestly, some of my favorite images from this shoot were kind of the happy accidents. Like when I was cycling on my bike and I would take a picture using the motion blur while I'm moving. 
that's not what you're supposed to do, but some of those images actually came out looking pretty good. And honestly, they're, they're kind of my favorite. And as I said earlier, this is still in the beta stages. So I'm excited to see where this is going to go in the next year or so if Google doesn't abandon it. That was me throwing shade, by the way. So let me know your thoughts. Have you used these features on the Google Pixel phone? Maybe share some of your images, drop some links in the comments below, and I'd love to check them out. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Not too far from the heart. There's a star, oh have me as a reminder